you, Ken. Good to have you on. You know, and we talked a few years here. ago. I don't know if it was you and I, but yeah, yeah good. We, we had a say, we talked about, you know, MIFID, this weird law in Europe and how it was going to sort of, you know, hasten the demise of the traditional sell side analyst. And, and it has to it, certainly to a point. Your company is maybe not designed to do away with it, but certainly to change the game. Tell us how. Yeah, well, I would say that we started ERA with the idea of just trying to help um, clients engage with the advances that were coming through tech. And I think that, you know, our focus was really Amazon, and I think ERA even sort of spawned from an Amazon research report, where we were trying to just advocate for clients that they have to start taking this seriously in terms of how industries will change. And we thought one way to help them do that, aside from just the stock price and what Amazon had been doing in the past, was to help them look to how their own role, roles could change. And I think that, you know, as we started with there, and I, you know, starts kind of the AI equity research analysis, the AI is silent because I think that with it, within ERA, you know, we're really trying to pay respect to the research analyst's role. And we're trying to learn that the best we can in terms of, you know, the rules that they follow to understand markets that are constantly in flux, equities where their, you know, stories are constantly changing. And I think that, you know, from our standpoint, we've been at this for about three years now, um, you know, analysts really want to understand the why. They want to understand the critical events within conferences, within filings, within, you know, news. And we want to make that as yeah. easy for possible. So, um, you know, you mentioned the 40,000 events that we're processing right now. So what we're trying to help clients with it the most is helping them be able to be updated on those events, access those events easily. And ultimately, you know, whether it's through alerts, search, comparison, really be more informed than they've been in the past. And I think that's how we're trying to revolutionize the more traditional sell side model, let's say. Yeah. And, you know, I, 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 I sort of said this to our, our guest at the top of the show, and it's my hot take prediction I just tweeted out, Ken, which is not only is work from home not here to stay, my prediction is work from home will be smaller in three years than pre-COVID levels. There's a reason. Human beings are important. Human interaction is important. When it comes down to what you do, you know, a, a sell-side analysis, there is a nuance and importance to, you know, looking at the CFO across the table and be like, this guy's not telling me the truth, right? He's shifty. I mean, there, there is still an importance to human interaction, is there not? I think a little bit of it is generational. And I think that, you know, when we started ERA, the business side was very focused in New York. And I think all of our clients were in New York, a lot more face-to-face, -face, a lot more in their offices, uh, showing them ERA on a big screen. But, you know, inevitably you'd run into, well, how do we connect to the Wi-Fi? Well, can you see what I'm trying to show you here? Whereas, you know, on a screen, you can just follow the cursor. You can see exactly what, you know, you can, it's easier to express to that other side exactly what it is trying to show selling software i totally agree from the standpoint of i think you know my generation you know yours i think we still very much value that face-to-face -face. but when i look at our devs and most of them have worked distributed from the beginning i don't think they value that same kind of you know face-to-face -face. and i think that you know for me i've had to learn a little bit in terms of the different working styles and as i look you know to the next three years i would yeah. love to I hope you're right because I love the you know human to human interaction, but I can also look to the other generations, particularly those who are in tech, and say they don't need it in the same way. Um, they don't even know maybe what they're missing in the same way that I feel, you know, and I'm sure you feel, uh, from you know what's happened during COVID. 